All right, current update on this. The trim board is up, and I used uh, some pine, some maple, and some oak. I put some braces up in the corners. That uh, is pine. On the right-hand side, that inside trim board is pine to the left of what you're viewing is the maple because I needed a wide piece along the bottom that is some oak boards there and then uh, pine across the top and like I said earlier, I changed the hinges. The, uh, it doesn't seem like it's shifting from side to side because those are what, seven foot doors, they're heavy doors. And then uh, I actually ended up driving T-posts in the end, and then I have a chain over it to keep the wind from blowing it back and forth. And I did that on, on both sides and then be able to put a rope on the handle and just loop it over that t-post to keep them open so i don't have to fight them every time i'm trying to do something with them in the uh, also in the picture you see i ended up putting a dehumidifier in there set it on 35 percent moisture and uh i've got a, a crack in that corner of that door with a little rubber piece with a uh, garden hose attached. So whenever it wants to run, it can run. I can seal this thing up and not open it for a whole month if that's what I want to do. Uh, what you see there in the picture, I cut a big limb out of the walnut tree down by the swimming pool. And then I ended up slabbing it. And one thing that I did not do is put the ratchet straps on it to squeeze it down and then I seen as it's starting to dry it was bowing out so I got that taken care of this morning and uh, let it continue its drying process that has been in there for I'm trying to remember when I slabbed that up Wednesday that was Wednesday and today is Saturday so it's been in there just a few days Hopefully we will still be fine. It's um, beautiful wood. Maybe let's see if we can take a look at it. There's the top. Uh, two different sections on the limb. She wanted a big beam and that's it. That's like a seven by seven. Not, she said something about wanting to try to make a bowl out of it. Might be hard to hear the couple of the fans are running, but uh, I cut the limb, put it in the burn pile, started to burn it. That's where you see the burn marks on top. She said, no, I really would like for you to pull that out. Let's put it on the sawmill, so we did. So that'll just give us an extra project to do. Let me close this thing up.
we go. Kind of like a combination lock, you got to do everything just right to get it done. It is pretty well sealed up. I'll need to go back and paint the bare wood. Uh, I'm going to put some barrel slide bolts probably on the outside the top and bottom instead of those pieces of wood where you have to twist them let's see why don't we go around to the other side and we'll see how many of these fans are on okay I have the hose running out the kittens are liking this water but this is the water coming off the dehumidifier I changed it this afternoon. That's how much filled back up. It's only 30% humidity in there right now. So the dehumidifier is off. It is a little of like 81 degrees maybe. One fan is running. I've got all of the fans set with, like that one goes on at 80. The one on the far right goes on at 90. Back over here is 100, and then this one right of the thermometer is 110, so they're not all running at one time. Now that I've closed up all of the cracks and uh, restricting the airflow, it, it may warm right up inside of there. But uh, thanks for tagging along on this uh, solar kiln update. And... Uh, I'll show you one more thing. I, I ran to the hardware store and I needed some more Torx head wood screws and I found this made in the USA DeWalt parts bin. It's got a lock button so if you unlock it you can open it up sort out all of your screws or lock it back up where it won't open at all so anyway pretty cool even has uh, strips those are your stickers to put on there to let you know what uh, you put in the bin I guess if you want to Made by DeWalt, made in the USA. Made where you could take and hang it on the wall. It said something about stackable. So I guess it's, uh, you can lay it on a, I don't have any stackable DeWalt toolboxes, but I guess if I ever do, that I could stack this and, and uh, strap it down. Anyway, thanks for watching.